nation we know that today taxi men across the island taxi men across jamaica today they decided to strike taxi men who decided to work and not be a part of the protest most of them got pulled over by other taxi men who used aggression and force to pull passengers out of the taxi we even see loader man a man who don't even own a taxi don't even own a vehicle loader man a pulled people out of car although that person was later arrested <laughs> He was even in the police station crying, yes, shedding tears. I realized that that picture brought so much joy to people. But nation, there are a lot of videos online showing the chaos that took place today. Well, it wasn't bad all over, you know, because over in Amiapen, the taxi men them over that side decided to have a daytime celebration. <laughs> Them taxi man they have fun, but the people who left them yard head out to work, head out to school, and needed or need a cab to reach at them yard. Them not to enjoy themselves. And notice I said need a cab and not just needed. Because even at this moment speaking right now, there are many people in Alpha Tree downtown and so on trying to get transportation. Urgently need transportation to head home. Even the police them have to go and play the role of a taxi man. Even breaking their own rules because this right here, this is a violation. The amount of people in at the front of the vehicle, the back of the vehicle, and so on. That right there is a ticket. But nation, this seems as if it might continue until tomorrow and even the next day. As we see this from the Jamaica Observer, hard end, bus and taxi strike to continue into second day, says transportation bus. Don't ask me who is transportation bus. <laughs> right now, the poor people in Jamaica come like George Floyd right now. Yeah. And Mr. Owens, you have your knee in our neck. Straight we can't breathe. We are fed up. You yes, say prosperity for the country, show us the prosperity, listen to the people, give us at least six months amnesty. If you can give amnesty for the guns, which is the most destructive weapon on earth, this has ticket. We're hard working people, hard working people, willing to pay it. So just give us a chance to pay it. Right? Right, and the next thing too. The court system is very, very slow, right? A taxi man can hardly take, even take two hours off the road because the demands, the demands, right, of, 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 of his responsibility and his bills, much less to go to courthouse and wait one whole day for pay one ticket, right? That cannot work. So the, the ticketing system, the ticketing system needs to be fixed plus the court system. But for right now, Mr. Ollis, Give us a chance, six Those months, to pay the nation to hear what's going on there. Maybe tomorrow, likewise today, will feel like so much of an holiday. Sorry for taking so long to give you an update, but the team was on the road visiting every location that our members are um, in, the pro in the process with the withdrawal of their services. So we had us to contact and have consultation with all our members before we could make a public statement. And the decision as it is right now is that the withdrawal of service continue tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. We want you to understand that the government went to cabinet today and the report we got on Nationwide is that they are not respecting um, or addressing our request. And so we have no other choice than to take it back tomorrow, withdrawing our service. And we will have to continue in this manner until we are heard by the government. Because if we do not, then I can guarantee you, we're all going to find ourselves behind bars. And as the pronunciation was made by the agent of the state, Mr. Kenwood here, that come December 1st, the police will be going around with the warrants day and night, even on Boxing Day and Christmas Days. Members of the One Voice group i want you to understand that we have no choice this evening than to go home get some rest get some food get up in the morning fresh and energetic and withdraw our service until our requests and our voices are heard full speed ahead, full speed ahead. one voice Dan Vice. Futa Hyper speaking on all of this took to his Instagram stories where he shared this picture with the caption stating, Me looking at my timeline, seeing how Jamaica mash up, but they think a joke made make, don't vote for Anjo, aka at Anjo Olness. But Nation, on to the topics the ENT news, the updates.
Yesterday, we see dance and artist Silk Mask on the rumor about him having a next baby on the way. With a next woman, of course, we certainly not agree. Silk Mask came out and said yes, he slept with the person, but he will not claim the child as his until the child is born and he gets the chance to do a DNA test. Despite all of that, though, Silk Mask and know that Brie is the only person he loves. Entertainer recently took to his Instagram stories where he shared this video and this is what it says the only person I love. Brie Wagon. Brie, although we got a reaction from her, a very shady reaction over on her page. Brie updated her page stating that she's the wicked girl. Questioning whether or not the picture of her in the hospital, it's about her doing an abortion. I think Brie Amekono said that's not the case, as we see an update stating cool mom. Not just that to all of the people who are wonder how Brie is supposed to handle this right now. It seems as if she's doing quite fine as she has questioned her concerned fans. Asking the question, look like me care? But the entertainment field community, I want to tell me what I think about that. State your thoughts in the comment section. Just before I move on though, may I go put up a little poll. Do you feel as if... This right here with Silk Boss and Brie, it's a publicity stunt, yes or no? We moving on, more updates. Reggae artist Leela Ike goes drowsless. What? Sorry, that's not what I wanted to say. Reggae artist Leela Ike's recent pictures. The entertainment field community, there is now a video circulating on social media, a video of a man claiming that dancehall artist Chronic Law is the one held responsible for his stolen motor vehicle. The entertainment field community, check out the video. Well, I'm bossing. After man got down with him, and then boy tell man boss say, I'm going to get back my car. Uh -huh. No, I can't get my car. Now, one year now, I'm going to my car. I'm going to go on my car. Bumbo on the air. Pussy them every day, then they sing about them rich and have much money. And then I have no money. I just sang them a sing. And they feel like me, I need that bone and I promise gun, man. When you can't trick me, man, go trick on a daughter. Pussy. Yeah. Hey, and I can give up. You know, I'm there, I'm at zone. I'm just going to go and watch you eat as them. And I promise as them, as it. But as I'm here, I still. I'm going to to buy about my thing, as it. Because I go warm but my thing is April. One year now I lose my car away right to your yard gate and now you're not buying about my thing. You know. I'm on a real YouTube on a style man thing, but watch on. That's how I try to go on here. And I give him thing. Well, our boss man, I go on them bum buckler like car and you tell man about come a town and thief man car. You feel like a chalala thing, but if I remember, say, I miss you right there, say, yeah, that. No joke. One year now, me a wallet, you know, but me have to talk. You see if I went squash. Daddy one. Bobby six. Mad dog. Or one of them artists like Tommy Lee. Vibes cartel me a par with. But I have to get back my car a long time. You call me from my yard, tell me, say, come at town. And when I come at town, you take my things and your teeth in front them. And style me, send me down back a bad bush. And tell pop if you tell me, say, when me come down, me go get me things. A one year now, I want me things and hard and me can't get me things, brother. One year and two months, and even call me, they are prison, me they are jail. No, 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 link me. I dead, me for dead. That you know, should I do, man. I want me things, I mean, I know joke thing, brother, and I care teeth. Bumbo wall. So, me have to do it, you know, brawling and disgusting. You hear that? Because I'm not a fool and I try to stick get a youth like you know, Call me say, yo, come at town. Hey, hey. No, I don't know this guy, but as stated, it's a video that is circulating on social media. As a matter of fact, I took a look on his uh, TikTok profile because TikTok seemed to be the original source for the video. But the guy goes by the name Madras and recently started his TikTok page about 3 days ago and these are basically all the videos he shared. But seeing this video, and I'm not stating the guy is telling a lie, still, seeing this video, me I said to myself, any random person can come out and say anything or make up anything about an entertainer, put it on social media and just like that, it's all over over social media. But once again, I'm not stating that the guy is telling a lie, you know. At the same time, the guy could have thought nonsense. The guy maybe even not do this just to get some followers on his TikTok. And I'm not stating that that is what he's doing, you know. But I'm just saying, anybody right now can just uh, put a video on social media talk one bag of crap about an uh, entertainer and just like that, it gone viral. The entertainment feed community stated thoughts on that. We're moving on. 
The last thing we are going to look at in this report, Raga Shanti gives updates on dancehall artist Spice. Apparently, Spice is now in the United States, that she has landed in Fort Lauderdale, um, and she came in privately, and that um, they said she's walking, but um, it's quite obvious that she's not in good shape, understandable, given the ordeal that she went through. Again, just want to remind you, allegations are that, um, again, allegedly, reportedly, that Spice went to the Dominican Republic to secure plastic surgery in the form of a tummy tuck and other things, and that um, complications ensued, resulting in her having sepsis. Allegedly, reportedly, she used a surgeon who Spice was the third person that he worked on. In other words, it's only two times before Spice um, he did this type of a surgery. Allegedly, reportedly. Allegedly, reportedly, uh, she suffered what the medical personnel are terming a perforated intestine. And that basically intestine where we call tripe that, you know, carries our waste that we end up excreting as in feces and 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 and, and um, urinal type of thing that's not supposed to be in your body obviously because that's why the body gets rid of it it's highly toxic highly poisonous and thing so apparently the surgeon and um in his whether mistake or incompetence perforated her intestine with perforate is a bossy term means a emboss our intestines whether it big or small and whatever but the contents seeped from her intestines into her body ended up poisoning her i am not a i am not an expert on this but the medical personnel have in, uh, informed me that this sepsis thing is super super serious incredibly serious and that unfortunately when i bring down a bad virus but you know Unfortunately, a lot of people who have this type of sepsis, you know, they don't make it. Um, supposedly also, this is not unusual for women who are doing cosmetic surgery. Um, well, people, I should say, who are doing cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery of this sort, that um, this thing has happened before. Um, and um, I don't know how significant the numbers are with this, but um, apparently... These things have happened before. Near yeah, Shannon, tell me what I think about that. You see what time a clock, you see what time a knock. We are going to get the car here. And as usual, my people. Hey.